Welcome to Cape Chronicle. I'm Alex Gasser. Public Works Director Casey Brunke is here to talk about Cape Public Works and what they're doing for the community. Casey, welcome. Hi, thank you. Yeah. So tell us about Public Works. I think a lot of people in the community are a little confused on what Public Works actually entails. <laughs> so we do a lot of things. Um, we maintain the city's street infrastructure. Um, we maintain the wastewater treatment facility, the water treatment plants. Uh, we have two. Uh, we also maintain the stormwater infrastructure. We pick up all of the trash and recycling for residential customers here in town. Uh, we also operate um, and maintain all of the fleet within the city of Cape Toronto, except for fire. They, they do their own because it's very specialized. Um, we just we kind of run the whole, the whole gamut of all the different things uh, to keep the city um, moving smoothly. Awesome. Okay. Um, so tell us a little bit more about what goes into maintaining all of that. <laughs> so, a lot. We have um, a staff of about 80 folks um, in our public works department uh, split up between the different divisions. Um, some are a lot more ro robust departments than others. So I think uh, probably streets is probably our largest, maybe fleet, uh, stormwater, um, solid waste, residential, you know, things that we pick up like that. Um, but just depends on what the jobs are, and sometimes we actually um, have other departments help each other out if we're short-staffed on a particular day or something like that. But um, every day is a puzzle on how we're going to figure out, um, you know, how we're going to get the, the daily tasks done because they are daily tasks. They're not things that you can put off until later, you know, specifically trash and recycling pickup. We have to make sure that the citizens are getting drinkable water and that when they, you know, use the toilet or, you know, do the laundry or do the dirty dishes that that water is going to our treatment plant. So. If, we, you know, we like to, you know, not hear from our customers because when we do, there's typically something that's going wrong. Gotcha. So <laughs> you said hearing from your customers. So how does someone, if they have an issue, how do they report that essentially? Sure. We have multiple ways that folks can get a hold of us. Um, you can call the main number at 573-339-6351. Um, we have a report a problem on our website um, that you can um, go in and you can report anonymous, anonymously if you would like. Um, you can also get in touch with City Hall, you know, they know how to get a hold of us as well. Um, but, you know, phone or email or online reporting typically works the best. Gotcha. Um, so you said recycling. I know I love that CAPE recycles, yes. um, but I also know that they don't recycle glass. So we go somewhere to do that. What, mm -hmm. what, does there a facility for them, for folks to recycle bigger things or something that maybe doesn't fit into our recycling bins or? Sure. So uh, glass recycling, uh, we don't pick that up at your curbside. Um, the reason for that is we ha that has to be separated out. That goes to a different facility than what all the single stream recycling goes to. Um, but glass can be dropped off at all of the, the local fire stations, one of the four fire stations here in town, um, or it can be dropped off at like the arena building or Osage, you know, we've got bins there. Um, you can also drop it off the, at the recycling center located um, at our public works facility that is open 24 seven. So you can bring it in, drop it off. Um, but then everything else um, can either be picked up at your curb um, with your normal recycling day, um, or you can bring it to the recycling center um, at our public works facility. At our public works facility, we also take electronic waste or e-waste. Oh. So if you have like, you know, an old computer or, you know, an old alarm clock or something like that, that, um, you know, really not sure what to do with, uh, go to our website. We have a list of things there that we can take for recycling. Um, and you can drop it off at the recycling center as well. Oh, awesome. I didn't realize that was something you yeah. guys offered. That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Um, I also know I get texts for like updates yes. for the recycling trash trash schedule how yes. does someone if they didn't know that that was available how does someone yes. get that update that is a great <laughs> question we would like so many people to sign up for that because that is really the easiest and quickest way for folks to know what's going on um, so this week is a holiday week and so um, we get a lot of phone calls you know so Monday's trash is picked up today on Tuesday and Tuesday's trash is picked up tomorrow on Wednesday. So we get a lot of phone calls during holiday weeks about, you know, my trash wasn't picked up. And a lot of times people just, they forgot, they didn't realize it was a holiday week. Um, but you can sign up for those text alerts um, on the city of Cape Girardeau's website. There's a link there to do that or call in to the Cape Public Works facility, again, 339-6351, um, and we can get you on that list. Um, you can also do it through utility billing. Anytime you go to pay your utility bill, uh, if you go in person, you can get signed up there. Um, or the easiest way most people just do it through our website. Okay, awesome. Um, so I have had the opportunity to actually tour your uh, <laughs> wastewater uh, plant and those yes. types of things um, through the Citizens Academy, which was really awesome. Mm -hmm. um, but what if someone was interested in, in finding out more about 
all that you guys do? Is there an opportunity for those types of things? Sure, absolutely. Um, I would say first check out our website because we do have some um, recorded tours on our website if folks would like to see, you know, kind of the overview of what's going on there. Um, but if they want a more in-depth tour, um, for sure, you can call, um, again, the main public works number, 339-6351, um, and we can get you in touch with those folks um, that can help set up the tours like that, um, because we do love showing off our infrastructure. It's, it's the citizens' infrastructure, um, and we have some really um, state-of-the-art facilities that they should be proud of. Gotcha. Um, so I know you said that uh, you rely on other teams if um, folks are if you're short staffed or those types of things, mm -hmm. um, if someone's interested in, in applying for a job, are you guys looking for, for folks? Is yes. that something that occurs? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are for sure looking uh, for extra hands to help us with our daily tasks. Um, you know, a lot of folks come in and not really sure. We have all different kinds of things that, you know, depending on what you're interested in, if you're interested in stormwater, we have openings. If you're interested in solid waste or recycling, we have openings, you know, street work. Um, I think pretty much almost every department has an opening or more um, within our public works division. Um, a lot of times um, we're looking for someone that has a CDL driver's license, either a class B or a class A. Um, if folks don't have that, um, we have a program where we can help them um, acquire that if need be. Um, so we have several different ways that we can, you know, try to get folks on board. Awesome. Yeah. Um, are there other things that I'm not thinking of that you'd love to share with the community about Public Works <laughs> that they really should know? Just know that we're out there working very, very hard every single day uh, to make sure that the infrastructure that the citizens need, um, that they're being met. Um, you know, it, it's constantly changing out there, um, so we know that we can't get to everything every single day, particularly when new things pop up during the day. But, um, you know, we have many men and women that are out there every day making sure that, you know, your water is safe to drink, that when you flush the toilet, it goes where it should. We're out filling potholes every single day, you know, just picking up solid waste to trash and recycling. Um, again, all the daily tasks that have to be done. There's a lot of men and women that are working really hard to ensure that for our city. Well, thank you. That's that's wonderful to hear. Um, you mentioned potholes real quick. It just made me think <laughs> um, if someone wants to report a pothole, is that also mm -hmm. done on the website yes, as you, well? Yes, call us or report it online and we'll take care of it. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much. And um, what's that website again? What's that phone number so that someone can sure. do that? Sure, so the website is just www.cityofcape.org and you can find the public works page underneath underneath that website. Um, again, the phone number is 573-339-6351. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Casey, so Thanks much for, for sharing all about uh, Public Works and everything that goes into that. <laughs> I know that I appreciate all that you guys do for um, the city and, and everything. And I love getting those text alerts because <laughs> that's a reminder that I know I need because <laughs> yes. I forget to. Yes. So yes. Um, thank you so much.